You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 993. Today's Devo is called A-Game. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is Stephanie, and I'm here with my girl, Rochelle. Yes, good morning, everyone. She's going to share a beautiful devotional with us. And before we get into that, we, again, want to remind you that we love connecting with you online, on our socials, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever it may be that you are listening to us and you're connecting with us. We read your messages. We see your prayer requests. We love to see what what you guys are inspired by. We love to see where you're from because we just found out somebody from Colombia is even listening to us and we're helping them learn English. So that is a massive honor to us. Continue to send us your messages. We are reading, we are responding, and we just genuinely love connecting with you. And also we are six episodes away from our 1,000th episode. So get ready for that. But Today, we have Rochelle bringing her A game. Yes. Take it away, Rochelle. Let's do it. So today's verse is Matthew twenty two twenty nine, And it's a verse that says, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And um, I love this verse because it really challenged you to not think about you. Even though it mentions you loving yourself as well, it puts the, the main purpose on loving somebody else, loving your neighbor. And this just encouraged me to realize that sometimes I say, I need time for myself. When you become a mom or you're busy, you're always saying, there's this time where I need time for me. And that's true. You do need some time for yourself to recharge, to refocus, and all those things are are great. But once you're giving yourself your best, which also encourages us to love ourselves because we have to, once we do that, We have to look at somebody else and now give them our best. Amen. And we can only give them our best if we're giving ourselves our best. Mm. So it's a a relationship. It's us giving ourselves love, but also giving others love. Amen. And the reason we do it for ourselves is so we can do it for others even more. Mm. And so I, I love this verse. It always encouraged me to look beyond myself. And I ask myself this question, who needs me on my A game today? Mm. Who is that person that really needs me to be my best so I can help them? Is that my husband? Is that my children? Is that my sister? Is that my mom, my dad? Who who needs me today to be on my A-game? And I just encourage you to do the same thing. Ask yourselves, who today needs me to be on my A-game? Because when you do that, it really humbles you. Yeah. <laughs> and you say, okay, it's time for me to do something great for somebody else. And I love that you bring up that yes, you have to love yourself and make sure that you are filled and you are healthy so that you could serve others. Because it's funny how that's always a ping pong effect. Mm -hmm. If you fill yourself up, then you will be in a healthy state to fill up others. Yeah. Which then in turn fills you up again. Yeah. Serving others is a service Mm -hmm. to them and to yourself. Get making the the day about other people, making the night about other people, sitting at the dinner table and asking others what their was what their day was like, asking them how they're doing, going to work and helping somebody out with their job, helping somebody out with their tasks, whatever it may be. Yeah. That fills your tank up over time. And our flesh doesn't want to. It's easy mm-hmm. for us to say, How could I give any more when I feel so empty? But the word says he waters those who, who water. water. And you just have to trust and know that serving others, being selfless, that's always comes with a reward. Yeah. That's amazing, Rochelle. Would you pray for us? Let's do it. Dear Father God, thank you once again for another day. Thank you because you gave us your best. And because of that, we get to live a life when we can give other people our best as well. So I just pray that today you show us how we can be better and show us who needs us to be on our A-game today. Just show us somebody that we can bless and just give our best to. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.